Now I would like to welcome back on stage one of our favorite speakers and motivators. He's written many books on the specific subject he will lecture on today, your mental attitude. So please welcome up on stage, Peter Jakobsson. Hello, Crowders around the world. Hello, Africa, Asia, East Asia, South America, Europe. I have a couple of nuggets for you. And to build a successful business, you need principles. And I have three key factors that I will talk about here today. And the first one is attitude. And I know, I know some people out there say, well, I heard that, you know, I know about attitude. So this training is for you because that's not a good attitude. So why is attitude so important? Well, it's, it's the whole being, it's you. When, you. when you show your business to people, when you enter a room, it's your attitude. And people buy you more than they buy your product. And you know the late Jim Rohn, he said, you can have more than you have because you can become more than you already are and we can change you know we are not born in a certain way so we can change and William James he said these miracle statements actually many years ago the great philosopher William James he said um, the greatest discovery of man is that you can change your life by changing your attitude So, some people are doing stinking thinking, which is not good, you know. They think the wrong way, and they turn out the wrong way. And look at this way. I usually use kids as an example, because kids are so great, you know. They have this tenacity, and you know, they hope everything. They have the, the glow in their eyes. They, they believe stuff, you know, and it's not like, you know, you go over here and, and, and have everyone, anyone seen a depressed baby? Anyone? No, of course not. Because it's not like, you know, you go over here, it's like, what's wrong with your baby? You're laying around here for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's depressed. No, 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 no. It's learned behavior. We learn stuff. We are born winners. We are born with the energy and the attitude of success. So... If you look at attitude as a funny thing, you know, um, let's say you roll in on an operation table and you don't want to have that surgeon to have a bad attitude, you know, when you ask him, it's like, okay, doctors, everything's going to be all right. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. You know, that's not what you want to hear. You want to hear, yes, it will be all right. I will do it. I will take care of this. So you got to have an attitude, you know, an outgoing, positive spirit. And the thing with attitude is it's so easy. You can change it in a second because it's the way you think. You know, the way you think will, will automatically transfer in your feelings. So usually come, people come and tell me, it's like, you know, I don't really feel like it. And I say, well, then you have been thinking wrong because Feelings follow thoughts. So first you have a thought, then you have a feeling. And another thing with attitude is you can, you know, the, the, some, I think it was Victor Borge, the, the Danish famous piano player or, you know, entertainer. He said, the shortest way in, in between two people are a smile. So the first lesson of a great attitude is actually a smile, you know. And the greatest thing with that is you can think whatever you want to do when you have a smile on. You can be like, what an idiot. You know? 
doesn't matter. People will pick up that energy. So attitude is really important. That's the first key factor. The second key factor is belief. What is belief? Well, we, we have a core belief system. I will not go into that, but belief is easy. You got to believe in the company. You got to believe in the products and you got to believe in yourself. And I know it's hard, I know it's hard, but attitude helps. So if you take a look at the company, there are no perfect companies. There will be problems, there will be hurdles, there will be stuff that go wrong. But most people think that successful people don't have problems. It's totally the opposite. They had so much problems that they solved. That's why they are successful. So there are no perfect companies. If you look at the products, if you're involved in an industry with hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue, is that a good business? So you don't have to be an expert in all the products. You can just find a couple of statistics or you know, learn about how to use them. That's the most important thing, but also how to promote them. And the more you promote the product, the better it will be. And you go back to the third thing, believe in yourself. And we, you have people around you that are interested in your success, that will help you build your business. So listen to them. And you will, you will, you will succeed. And the third factor is commitment. Okay, what's commitment? Well, if you look it up in a dictionary, it says, Decision with no return. Wow! So, you know, if you're committed to something, you don't give up. You're committed. Those are the, the, the committed people who will succeed. It's not like, you know, when you get married, you walk up the aisle and, you know, the priest is there and, and he asks, so, so uh, will you marry your wife here, you know, so and so, and you go like, yeah, maybe. No, you got to be committed. Yes, I will. So when someone asks you, are you going to be president in this company? You, can, you can't go like, I hope so, maybe. No, you go, yes, I will become president. That's commitment. And commitment is also, you know, it, it will thrive, it thrive, it give you energy because you don't give up. It doesn't matter what you do. You, you will never give up. And if we take a look at these three components. So when you have great attitude, the thing is, it will affect your belief system. When you smile, you feel happier. I don't know why. Some scientists said that, you know, you open up some channels to the brain, so you give the brain more oxygen when you smile. I have no idea, but I know it works because I've tried it. You can try it too. So attitude will change your belief system. When you, if you go into belief system and you start believing in the company, the products, or yourself, that will affect your commitment. So you will be more committed if you have a belief system. And if you walk into commitment, you start in commitment say, yep, I'm going to do this. I don't care what it takes. That will affect your attitude. So it doesn't really matter where you walk in. You walk into attitude, belief, or commitment. It will affect the other three. That's the way you're going to do business. And that's the way we do business here. So if you do that, the best of your life is going to be the rest of your life. Because you're not who you think you are. You are who you think you are.